Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, <clears throat> um, I keep saying um already, might have just started. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, quite an exciting day. I'm getting some fodder beat delivered. So it's just on its way now. I'm just waiting at the end of the drive and uh, I'm going to stop any traffic that comes down because it's coming in an Arctic wagon. So, um, yeah, I need to, need to make sure that he doesn't meet anyone on the road because it's quite narrow. And, yeah. I'm really excited to sort of get that into the feed and see how the cows react to that, which will probably only be positive because it's like it's like them having a chocolate bar. <laughs> it's just pure sugar, I think. So, well, not pure sugar, but mainly sugar. So they'll be really happy with that, and it'll uh, hopefully boost boost their what they're lacking a bit of energy. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Got some other few things which I got on the grant as well, which I'll uh, I'll show you for the cows. So. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. So this is a clamp which I don't know what they used to use this clamp for, but Will's tidied it out uh, with Dad. Stapled these sheets back up and uh, we're now getting the, we're using it as our fodder beat clamp, <laughs> if you like. We're just trying to get the wagon in here now. First load of fodder beat into the mix, so I don't really know. I need about 160, 70 kilos of fodder beat. That's probably way more than that. So I've got actually no idea of how heavy this is. I've got no gauge, <laughs> so I'll have to uh, just go and tip this little bit in the feeder wagon, and then I can. Uh, and I can see from there on the scales on the feeder wagon how much I've put in. Come on, 480 kg in there. It, it always has like a little bit left in it, so I've just put 400 in my big bale in the silage. And then, yeah, so I need to go to pretty much 650. 650. Yeah, you can, I, I sound like I'm just speaking about random numbers here. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> so. Tip it in. Um. Oh my. You just can't beat that. I only did one little tip <laughs> and I've hit the nail on the head. Right, so I'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, now I've just got to fill it up with the rest of the silage, the grass silage. So, and then I'll, uh, I'll film it going down the feed passage and see how it looks and see if the cows take a liking to it, which I'm sure they definitely will. You've taken that whole piece of fodder beat. 
they're getting a taste for it now. But it's, it's all chopped up in the in the feed like that through the chopper. So they've got to root. They've got to root it out. Yeah, you can see bits of it here. What have you just done with it? Oh, she's took the whole thing. <laughs> so the the feeder wagon's chopping it up to a bit more manageable sizes now. Like that. No, they'll take a nibble out of that. There's just, there's just loads of uh, like little bits of it. See, it's fairly even. I mean, if you look through this, get there, get there, so. Or you could just take the whole thing. Is it? Is that the new fodder bee? Get it. Get it. What is it? Is it fodder bee? Come here. So we're just bringing the Anguses in. Uh, some of the sort of um, store cattle we've got. Um, we're just bringing them back in now for winter and just going to sort them out and sort of fatten them up a bit. And they're all just sort of coming over now. Me and Will are bringing them up. Come on in! Nelly, come here. Nelly, come on now. Come on in! Come on here now. Come on, let's go. This way. Come on, come on. Come on! Come on, Nelly. Come on. Come on. I know you're keen. Come on in! Come here. We've got them in now. We've, uh, we've sorted them all out. This is the bigger ones. Sort of bigger store cattle and then... These are the smaller ones, and then the calves, but we're gonna sort of separate them up. We've got that pen, but we just need to get water to it, and then we can then we can separate them again. Um, but yeah, they look very happy. And it's just started raining outside. Um, so they'll be really happy to be inside now. Some of those hailies, because they'd eaten up pretty much on where they were, so. Yeah, looks really good. They look quite happy. So I just thought I'd show you where uh, where we scrape out. So scrape out down there, down the sheds, and then they go into the uh, into this reception bit here, into these slats, and then uh, we scrape the tractor, obviously. And then we've got the old 2680 um, on the uh, slurry stirrer. So that's in that hole there, and that's stirring all this muck around. I sort of see it down there, stirring round in there. Um, and then once it's stirred for a bit and you know it's got it's chopped chopped any bits up, we then fire it into the uh, tower. So yeah, it works quite nicely. Gives the old girl a run out every now and then. Um, just uh, chugging away, but yeah, she's some beast. Quite a problem. That burst out everywhere when I switched it over to uh, to pump it over to the top. Luckily that's all I got on me. Well you can see I've absolutely caked the uh, tractor in it. I think it's because this couplings oh, right. that could have been very very bad. That could have been covered in poop. <laughs> oh no. Another job to do. I just want to say as well, I think Farmer Phil would be very happy to see uh, to see um, the nice old Lassie Ferguson being used on the farm. If you don't know who Farmer Phil is, he's the guy that's obsessed with Massey Ferguson's old ones as well. I'm pretty, I've, I reckon we've got a rival co uh, collection to what he's got as well, so uh, we'll have to see. 
Right, moment of truth. video there. I know I said at the start that I've got something on the Grant which I wanted to show you but I've not put it up yet so I'll uh, that'll probably be my next video um, but you'll have to just wait and see on that one. I will show you. I just need to get some bolts for it <laughs> but I'm just pushing the silage up now uh, before I go home and uh, we've had some new we've had some more cows come today uh, yesterday sorry so I've been, we've been tail trimming them up and because uh, they have, because the tails were a bit mucky and um, yeah, just getting them milking, we're on everyday collection now, because the milk I don't think could fit in the tank over two days, well I don't want to take the risk anyway and be overflowing with milk, <laughs> so yeah, I'll just show you my little, I'll just show you my feed passage and me pushing up and that'll, that'll be all for this video so thanks for watching please like and subscribe uh, I showed me a lot of uh, got me a lot of views on my last one so that was good and I'm nearly at 500 subscribers last time I checked I was 10 off so nice little milestone for me uh, give you something to work towards and then next one from 500 to 1000 so uh, I'll keep pushing on with it and uh, try and keep pumping out the videos for you so thank you again and like and subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and things. <laughs> right, cheers. See you in a bit.